Hi, everybody. Welcome. Happy Friday to another edition of my weight loss journey. Today, I get to bring you day 186. Nice sunny day. It is 45 degrees, quarter to four in the afternoon in southern Minnesota. Uh, ran some errands today, got some stuff done, getting ready to head and go to the gym. I prepped my dinner that'll be coming up. I prep my um, supplements for before, during, and after my workout. I prep my snack because I'm going to be going to do some stuff right after the gym. So prep my snack uh, for what I'm going to have tonight. Uh, water. I've got two coolers and everything planned and ready to go for the rest of the day. So I have no excuses on why I can't or don't have what I need to follow my meal plan. So planning takes some time, but it's well worth it. And then you have no excuses and it's cheaper. So remember that. Um, I get to bring you back one day 186. Uh, day 186 was uh, month one, day 18 of the V Shred Big Arms program. On this day was a light arm day. Um, v Shred meal plan uh, from then till now, obviously. I could probably stop repeating the fact of what meal plan uh, I'm on, but I could probably just share more of just what I'm eating uh, on that day. So uh, I'll remember that uh, so it's not so repetitive. Um, Light arms, uh, light arms is good. You get a good workout, you get a good pump, you get a good burn. Uh, I do enjoy it. So that was the exercise for that day. Uh, my weight, I did go up uh, 0.6 uh, of a pound. So it brought my total to 330.4, I believe it is. So just a hair over the 330 mark. Uh, and with a nice good workout coming in, which I was doing right from home. I wasn't even going to the gym yet. Um, I did have a home gym, so I did have that as an advantage. Um, but a lot of things, if you plan accordingly, you can probably look at at a very minimal expense to do weight training within your own home uh, as well. So just curls or bars, or you know, take a look at the exercises and as and as well um, the actual big arms program and the programs that you can get. Um, from V Shred on the app are very uh, inexpensive. I think they're a third of the price of whenever I purchase them. So uh, definitely check that out for some great exercises. And with some of these, you uh, even have the option of the at home versions, which then are custom tailored, um, you know, if when you don't have weights. So uh, you have a lot of options. All you need to do on your side is just plan for it and then execute. So um, that was day 186. And now we fast forward to today, which is day 777, 778, sorry. Uh, and I wasn't sure what the scale was going to do this morning uh, because I had dropped 4.2 yesterday. I did go up, uh, but I went up uh, 0.8. So... I'm at 211 flat uh, today, which I expected a little bit, especially with working out so late and the amount of liquids uh, and everything that I drink at the end of my workout, during my workout, after my workout. Uh, before my workout, I go through about three to four pitches of water. Uh, so I definitely um, have a, a high intake. So um, 211 is good. It's still low uh, compared to where I was uh, post vacation. So I'll just keep on that trend. Um, my workout today, it's month one, day 10. Uh, so my workout today, shoulders. Uh, so I'll be doing Vince's shoulder exercise today. So I'm excited for that. Uh, and my meal plan, um, I did have this morning was my oatmeal morning. So um, again, these are all custom tailored fit to you, to what your body style is, to what um, your calorie intake should be. So uh, you know, don't take the exact quantities that I'm, you know, kind of sharing with you and use it for you and wonder why maybe it's not working. Because A, I'm not giving you the full 
you know, the day. So you can't really write it all down and then, um, follow that meal plan. Um, but it's also the proportions are going to be different based on what your needs are. Uh, but again, another part that's very inexpensive. Um, I think I pay, it's like $47 or $50 a month. I mean, to have a meal plan custom tailored just for you. Um, I, it could probably be double that and it's well worth a, what it does for you, B, how you feel, C, fast forward and look at what happened in 778 days with me and 90% of it is that meal plan. So Adam, I can't thank you enough for all the delicious options that you give me based on what my needs are and even custom tailored to the foods that I like and don't like and even new foods that I get to try that I fall in love with. So uh, today was one of my favorite starts of the day. So it was like a cup of oatmeal. Uh, and then what I do is I, instead of having my banana as a snack, I back it up and have it on bre with breakfast and I put my banana on top of my oatmeal. Uh, and then I put one tablespoon of maple syrup because it's plain oatmeal. Uh, so that's even better than a regular um, flavored oatmeal. Uh, Mom, thank you for that tip trick. I love it. I always look forward to it and think of you every time I put that um, maple syrup on my uh, oatmeal. And to a Canadian, makes me feel even better. Uh, then I was supposed to have turkey bacon with breakfast. So I could have that with snack with a protein shake. Well, today I wasn't so hungry at snack time. So I had my protein shake. But then at lunch was six ounces of chicken on two wraps with um, two ounces of Mexican shredded cheese. So then perfect. I took my bacon, my turkey bacon I had left and I put it on my wraps. Solved that problem, was able to have it, still keep it with my macros and fluctuated. So I'm not going over what I'm supposed to, but I'm being a little creative with the foods that I have. Uh, then this afternoon, uh, I had a snack protein shake. And then for dinner um, was a spaghetti recipe that Adam gave me. Well, today I don't have time to make the whole sp spaghetti recipe and have it wait early um, with traveling and doing errands. So it took me a little bit, um, but I looked at all the macros of my substitution because I know that there's lean ground beef in the spaghetti. I needed carbs um, and I had my calories. So what I ended up doing is I went in and looked at, I wrote down how many calories I needed, uh, how many carbs I needed, how much protein I needed and how many fats I needed. And what I ended up figuring out one by one on items was that I could have three of my whole wheat shells. I could have four ounces of beef. I could have one ounce of um, brown rice. And that left me just a hair of carbs to make up, uh, which then I did my vitamin drink. Uh, that I'm going to have, which I like to have that before my workout as well. So I ended up making up all my macros. I think I was just 0.2 of a gram up on fat and with some calories, I think about 150 calories to spare. So I got it almost exactly, which is going to be hard, but I rather stay just a hair under than to go over. So I'm excited you get to do that. But again, when you do this, it reminds you so much of how much a full-time job is just to try to keep track of all your macros and what you should be having. And then the problem you run into, which later will be my snack. I have rice cakes with peanut butter. But the problem you run into is the end of, at the end of the night, you'll have many calories to make up. So the biggest thing is planning. And then the other big thing is taking that time for you being excited about new things. So... I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I can help you out with. And thanks for your support. Be kind. Have a great day. Bye-bye.